What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. So yes, as you can see from the thumbnail, <laughs> Hu Tao is going to have to bring her own grave to the cemetery, or should we say, have to attend her own funeral. Because I'm not going to lie to you, she is old news, Arlequino, bring it in, bring it home, she is going to power creep the f*** out of her, okay? Um... There's leakers saying that Arlequino at C0 is going to power creep C6 Hutel, all right? Now, we're going to get into Arlequino's kit, but I want to make it very clear, this is speculated, this is questionable, so it can change. And we are very close to the drip marketing of Arlequino, which is going to be in literally 24 hours from now. And we also have the 4.6 beta, which is around the corner after the 4.5 official release. So, if there's any changes, I'll let you know, but as of right now, I'm going to be going on holiday very soon, so I won't be able to update you immediately, but you already know whenever there's anything new regards to Arlequino or any other kits, I will keep you posted. As I am, I'm going to be something for Arlequino as well as many other people, but let's get right into the news. Okay, so Arlequino's elemental skill, we've already spoken about this. It has the HP manipulation, so the HP mechanics are very similar to Hu Tao and very similar to Furina, right? Now, same like Hu Tao does, where she infuses her weapon with Pyro. Basically, Arlequino infuses her, you know, weapon with Pyro, <laughs> Pyro infusion, and she burns her HP, and it turns not into the Paracel, whatever you want to call it, the thing that you have for Hu Tao, I can't remember the actual, like, skill thingy, the term, but for Arlequino, it is called the Contract of Life, okay, and this increases her attack, as per usual. Um, and this increases her interruption resistance as well, which is something that Hu Tao actually had a problem with because you had to use Xing Chou and you also had to use Zhong Li in order to keep yourself alive because you just took too much damage because obviously you just lost HP. Um, now, when it comes to her elemental skill, the contract of life, when it hits an opponent, it burns Arlequino's HP and changes it to the contract of life. So basically each stack of the contract of life will increase her normal attack uh, percentage and her attack speed, as we know this already, but it gets to a max stack. Right, let's get to the point that's kind of interesting. When you use her Q, it removes this contract of life, which is obviously introduced when you use her skill. It turns back into HP, so this is basically describing that Arlequino will lose so much HP based off of her um stacks and based off of the, the rate of how much hp she's gonna lose that when you burst you're gonna basically get so much hp returns it's r ridiculous okay now keep in mind healing is not going to be good for this contract of life healing will reduce it you want the contract of life to increase your attack speed and your attack percentage for normal attacks okay now when we come to the queue, we have spoken about a stance change to being AoE, to being single target. We will get more information later on when the beta drops. When it comes to Arlequina's Constellation, her C1 is actually really interesting. Basically, it reduces the amount of HP you lose, but increases the conversion of stacks that you get to her normal attack speed and her attack percentage, which is really nice. So this means that her C1 is really strong. C2, the translation is not very clear, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's very pyro shred. Um, C4 is mainly just energy recharge issues, and C6 is going to obviously be increase of crit rate and crit damage. So that's what we have for constellations. Arlequino may be very similar to Hu Tao when it comes to Kip. This is the same for Lini to Yoimiya. Now, her talent 2, which is really, really kind of like cool. And this also shows that she's going to be very good with a large group of individuals, uh, should we say, mobs or enemies, whatever you want to call it. Say like you've got 10 Healy Charles in front of you or whatever, you're in the Spiral Abyss, you've got so many enemies. Instead of having one boss, you've got so many enemies. When a new enemy gets hit, Arlequino will increase her pyro damage. So they have described Arlequino as the Pyro Novelette, if not the big Hu Tao. And she is strong, but they have compared her and said that she isn't going to be on par to damage. Um, and she's not going to be as strong as C6 Ayato. But what can I say? This is looking promising. And I the best way to describe this when it comes to her stacks and comes to her burst and her E, yes, you could compare it to Hu Tao, but you can also compare it to the brand, well, not brand new, but like 
really cool character in HSR. His name is called Blade. And um, he basically has this mechanic where he loses his HP and he also has stacks and he increases his normal attack. And he also has a burst that reduces his, uh, well, replenishes his HP. But we will see what happens with Arlequino in the future. Support the video by dropping a like and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one, guys.